yeah, it's pretty cold when you get in, get in the shed in the mornings, but you get the fire on, get a cup of tea on and do some work. Yeah, first thing we do in the day is, well, for me, it's put the computer on. What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> Warm the welder up, give it a bit of a kick. <laughs> Gets there eventually. Orf and I met when we were at uni, and we kind of you know, went out riding and stuff like that. Our background was in downhill kind of thing, that's what we wanted to do. And because we were riding in places where the trails weren't that tough, and we you know, both wanted a hardtail that you'd have the fun of a downhill bike on, but without having to have a massive, gnarly trail. So, yeah, that's kind that's of... That's where the idea of the belter came from. Yeah. We made most of the tools we use, and, uh, yeah, just if we need something, we generally make it ourselves if we can. I got into racing downhill as a teenager and I had this idea in my head that I was going to start my own bike company and make a, a downhill bike that would last a whole season without breaking. Then after uni I got a job as a welder. While I was there I got a phone call from town one day while I was at work saying so we're going to start this bike company then and we've just done the BTR thing in the evenings and weekends and building bikes and they're going all over the world. We're getting inquiries from places like French Polynesia and well, we've just got a Japanese distributor and it's quite nuts really just to yeah. think two guys with a dream in a shed and it's it's actually happening. <laughs> when I was at K9 I worked as a design engineer and we did all the stress tests and the stress analysis and it's something that carried over to BTR and we still do all the stress testing in CAD. And well we made a custom full SAS frame for a guy that organises races in the in the Kent area. And um, yeah, we designed it from the ground up for him. And it's just, that's the kind of thing that we can do because because it's flexible like that. We started building this frame yesterday morning. Well, we could save ourselves so much time if we just notched the tubes and stuck them in the frame. The customer would never know the difference, but like when we're making the frame, it makes all the difference to us. So when you're getting a frame from us, it's had the... Someone's loved it from the start, basically. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, not, than... it's not just a job we want. Every okay. frame that we make is a bit of a kind of a bit of a child kind of thing, a bit of yeah. creation. So every single one we give a bit of attention to along the way. Yeah. I find that when you're behind the welding helmet and you're sitting there concentrating on the weld, it's quite a lot like being in a race run. You're just you're concentrating on just the task in hand, trying to make it absolutely perfect, no mistakes anywhere. Yeah, that's all just part of the craftsmanship that we put into the frame. We, we, we wouldn't bother making a frame if we didn't think it offered something different to what was already out there. We've no interest in making another bike the same as everyone else. And then when, when the frame's finished and we've put all of our blood, sweat and tears into it, like we feel completely attached to it, and then we send it out the door and yeah. we hear, hear back from customers like how much they enjoy riding the frame. Like, uh, it's really satisfying, yeah. I'd say. Just getting well, like good we, feedback from people when they, you know, when they get their frames through the door. They, because we're in contact with pretty much every one of our customers by email or by phone or whatever, they, they generally get in touch and be like, oh, I've, my frame's just arrived, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> we just recently announced that we're going to be uh, revamping the belt and uh, one of the uh, guys who bought a belter commented, was like, how can you improve on such an awesome frame? And it's just like, when you hear things like that, just makes it all worthwhile, like all the late nights and yeah. you know, the bikes working. are actually out there and people are really enjoying them. It's not, yeah. it's not just us. It's, it's cool. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs>